mga kababayan, ang Pangulo ng Republika ng Pilipinas. Mga kababayan, ang pamansang awit ng Pilipinas. Pinunot kawal, taas ka ng kamay. Ta! Bilang Pilipino, buong pagmamalaki kong isa sa buhay ang bagong Pilipinas. Buhay sa aking dugo ang lahing dakila, magiting at may dangal, palaging dadalhin sa puso, isip at diwa ang pagmamahal sa kultura at bayang sinilangan. Kaisa ng bawat mamamayan, Iaalay ko ang aking talino at kasanayan sa pagpapaunlad ng aking bayan. Taglay ang galing na naaayon sa mga pandaigdigang pamantayan. Magiging instrumento ako sa pagsulong ng kagalingan, karunungan at kapayapaan. Makikiisa at makikilahok ako sa mga adhikain ng pamahalaan. Dahil ang kaunlaran ay hindi lamang responsibilidad ng iilan. Isusulong at pangangalagaan ko ang karangalan, kalayaan at interes ng aking bayang minamahal. Bilang Pilipino na may pagmamahal, pakialam at malasakit, hindi makasarili kundi para sa mas nakakarami, tatahakin ko ang landas tungo sa isang bago Pilipinas. Palukunan, mga pinunod kawal, babangka ng kamay. Na! Babangka ng kamay! Na! As we celebrate this significant occasion, let's take a moment to pay our respects and remember the great hero and leader who etched a great legacy in our history. Sa sandaling ito, ating saksihan ang pag-aalay ng bulaklak sa bantayog ni Pangulong Ferdinand E. Marcos Sr. na sumisimbolo ng ating pagkakaisa at pagkakilala sa kanyang hindi matatawarang kontribusyon sa ating bayan. Leading the wreath-laying ceremony is His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr., President of the Republic of the Philippines. He will be accompanied by Honorable Matthew J. Marcos Manotok, Governor of Ilocos Norte, and General Romeo S. Browner Jr., the Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. May we request the First Lady, Luis Araneta Marcos, Senator Maria Imelda Josefa Remedios R. Marcos, Representative Ferdinand Alexander Marcos, Representative Angelo Marcos Barba, Mr. William Vincent Marcos, and Joseph Simon Marcos to stand behind the dices. Mahal na Pangulo, handa na po para sa pag-aalay ng bulaklak. 
Wait, pasan ako. Bukan. Tanghat! Ha! Halupunan, mga pinunot kawal. Tanghal! Ha! ni Senator Amy R. Marcos. Nagtugaw kayo? 
Naragsak ka pa nagkasanay mo, tatang ko, Apo Lakay, Apo Presidente Ferdinand Edralyn Marcos. Naimbag nga agaw ka na kayo amin, kablaawan man, di madaydayang nga ading ko, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. Kaya ti entero nga pamilya, ni Congressman Sandro Marcos, Governor Matthew Marcos Manotok, Congressman Angela Marcos Barba, Vice Governor Cecilia Marcos, kenti bokales tayo, Aduti Marcos. Uh, ang ating mga mayor, vice mayor, ang mga konsehales, ti nagaget ng opisyales, ti entero nga Solid North, ti uh, barangay opisyales tayo, na magsi six years na, sana, kung pumayag si Apo Presidente, ti NGAs, can NGOs, the entire provincial government and uh, General Romeo Browner, Chief of Staff, Unifer personnel, and all the rest who are here, too many friends to mention. Awan and ti may parbeng abalikas nga ibagak kas panang rugi ti mensak kada kayo no saan nga agyamanak ti adu kada kayo amin agyamanak apu. Agyamanak ti adu ti panagayat yu, sipud pa'y idi aging gana kadagitoy a panawin. Ken ni tatang ko, ti maingil nga anak ti bata, anak ti Ilocos Norte, ken ti Ilocanja. Apolakay, Presidente Ferdinand Edralyn Marcos. Ngem agpaypayso, agtultuloy si asibibiyag ti tatang ko, kaditi Tunggal maysa ag tutubo ng ad-adal iti public high schools kada state universities and colleges ken MMSU nga inrugina akas maysa a probinsyano a kagurgura iti Manila. Si Bibiag ni tatang ko kada giti manalon ken mangalap a natulungan na asapay kuma ang mapabangon tayong manen. Si Bibiag Latta ni Apo Lakay, kadagiti negosyante, ng kalakal, taigid, tidalan. Rangtay, ti Pierre Ken Airport, nga inaramid na. Si Bibiag ni Apo Lakay, kadagiti kakailyan tayo, a pasyente, doktor, kada nurse, kadagiti hospital, na inpundar na. Nang nangruna iti amin, ag tultuloy a si Bibiag ni Apo Lakay, ni Tatang Ko, kadag iti puspuso, iti tunggal maysa nga Pilipino, tunggal maysa nga Ilocano, nga iti anaman arinigan rigat, ken panang al aliw, kas kanya ako ay Pilipino, taas noo kahit kanino. Naragsak na panagkaisang mo, tatang ko, jay langit, happy, happy birthday, Batak, happy birthday, Ilocos Norte, and the Solid North. We enjoy a special non-working holiday in Ilocos Norte. But as we enjoy our freedom bestowed upon us by the President, let us be mindful of the reason and the history behind this holiday and our recreation today. Well, for most of our kakailian, not for us, who will go around later. Um, may we remember, may we commemorate, and may we honor the legacy of Ferdinand Marcos Sr., President Ferdinand Marcos Sr. An Ilocano, who rose from humble beginnings right here, originally, of course, in Sarat, but right here in Batak, to the highest position of the land. And always remembered where he came from, always came home to Batak, and always prioritized the Ilocano. And that is the legacy we, together, must keep alive and the ideals that we must live by every day for the rest of our lives to put first our dear province and of course our beloved country. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce to you 
the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Thank you very much, uh, Governor uh, uh, Mati. Uh, please, uh, please help to take off for your uh, kind introduction and your very memorable word. Uh, I'd like to greet, of course, uh, Senator Aimee, uh, who has, uh, after a long uh, time, has managed to uh, find time to, in her campaign schedule, in her campaign schedule to be with us here today. Uh, Ilocos Norte Second District Representative Angelo Marcos Barba. Ilocos Norte Vice Governor Cecilia Araneta Marcos. Ilocos Norte First District Representative. Half to now, I will tell you the truth. Hindi, hindi ko masanay sana na binabati ko yung anak ko na, no? Kasi, pero talagang kailangan ng batiin by Congressman eh. So, First District Representative <laughs> Congressman Sandro Marcos. The Chief of Staff of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, General Romeo Browner Jr. The officials and employees and residents of Batac, led by uh, Mayor Alfred Chua. And of course, uh, my greetings would not be complete without greeting our First Lady, uh, First Lady Lisa Araneta Marcos. All of, uh, all of the officials who have come here, the mayors who have, uh, who have joined us, uh, the Barangay Chairman na napakalakas ang palakpak kanina sa suggestion ni Senator Aimee at uh, pag-usapan natin ng uh, We are also uh, visited by our uh, friends uh, in from uh, Isabela and from Cagayan and uh, we uh, welcome them once again to Ilocos Norte. Na imbag nga bigat kayo amin. Kada gitipadat, ayatik na Ilocano na imbag nga bigat kada kayo amin. I always look forward to uh, coming to Ilocos Norte, not only because it is really our home, uh, but also in this special occasion when we commemorate the Marcos Day, which is the day of my father's birthday. And as we have seen, it is uh, his 107th birthday. So it is inevitable when we, when we celebrate his life and we look back and we try to find, I try to find and try to think, what was it about my father? Ano ba talaga? What was his very important quality that brought him to the greatest heights of, uh, of political office in the Philippines, but even more importantly, to have uh, allowed him to, that made him, that guided him, so that he could serve the people properly. And I'm always, remem I am always reminded of the, what, was, what was engraved in the mausoleo when my father was still being was still buried here, uh, and uh, those of you uh, that have been to his to the to the mausoleum will remember that it was one single world, Filipino, and that is the essence of my father. And when I look back, and uh, now that I am in this high office, and many things become, our many forces are impacting upon you, and a decision has to be made, and the guidance that I get. Once again, as I, I always ask myself, what would my father do? What would be his advice? And I remember the Muslim, and I remember that it says Filipino. And that is the essence of the man. He was a Filipino. He was an Ilocano first, but his whole life was dedicated to the Filipino. His whole life was dedicated to the Filipino. During uh, his first uh, foray into public service after his uh, university and his law school uh, was as a soldier, as a soldier during the war, where he was willing to make the ultimate sacrifice to defend his country and his people. And we have seen and heard and read about the heroic deeds that are only now being realized by many of us. I, uh, I will recount to you a, uh, an experience that I had recently, when I was uh, in the United States, and I was uh, hosted by the director of the Central Intelligence Agency, the CIA. And the request ko sa kanila, can I see some of the records about my father 
where he was working with the OSS. The OSS was a predecessor of the CIA. And uh, they, uh, they allowed me. They took me to the records room and they started to show me many of the records, the reports that were given during the war that are still secret. And I mean, he was greater than even we realized. The things that he did, the things that, uh, the sacrifices that he made for the Philippines. And I asked the CIA, Mahaliba, pakopya ko, iuwi ko. Sorry, it is still classified. And that was the depth of his uh, service to the country. After the war, after uh, liberation, he, he then entered into politics. He became the second district uh, representative of Ilocos Norte, and he served for about 10 years before becoming senator and ultimately president. And through that whole time, all that he did was to serve Filipinos. He sacrificed everything. Those of us who are with his family know of that sacrifice. And uh, we, in our own way, were feeling that we also sacrificed because we did not see my father. We did not see my mother. They were very busy doing their work and serving the Philippines and serving Filipinos. And so when I look back now at the life that I have led, and I see what is the guiding principle that I can learn from my father. When things are confusing, when things have become so complex, what is the essence of service that my father taught me? And that is very simple, but not easy to achieve. But it is simple. Be a Filipino, serve the Filipino, protect Filipinos and the Philippines. And from that comes all, all, the, all of the important things that we can do. That guides us, that is a guiding principle. So, although he was always uh, uh, described, uh, especially uh, in his younger days as the GI, the great Ilocano, he superseded that. And of course, he loved Ilocos, he loved Bata, he loved Sarah, he loved all, all of you uh, who were with him through all of the trials and tribulations that he went through. But then he's, I, I suppose he saw the essence as well. Of Ilocanos, we are essentially, we are Ilocanos, but we are here in the Philippines. And the greatest service that he could do was to serve the entire country of the Philippines. So if we are to continue on this important legacy that he has left us, what, is, what again will be our job? How again do we know what is the right path to make it better for the Philippines, to make life better for all Filipinos, to make sure that the, the, the Philippines is protected? that the Philippines is secure, that the Philippines is going to flourish, that the Philippines takes its place in the community of nations in the world. And I have followed that credo from the very beginning of my term, and I will continue to follow that credo. Be a good Filipino. Be a Filipino that loves your countrymen. Be a Filipino that loves your country and do everything and sacrifice everything to achieve that purpose, to achieve that goal, that you become a good Filipino and you leave the Philippines a better place than you found it. That is by continuing life. That is the credo that we should live by. And for that, I will be eternally grateful to my dad for the lessons that he taught us, for the values that imbued, imbued in our very souls. And that has served us all well. And so as we go through our daily lives, let us always remember that in the end, we do what we do. All that we do, we do for Filipinos. All that we do, we do for the Philippines. Let us be together in that. Let us, let us uh, continue that legacy of love of country. Let's continue that legacy of love of your kababayans. And I think that if we do that, that we will always be led in the right direction. Happy birthday, Dad. And thank you for all that you have given us. Please remain in your respective places as we now call on our officials from the provincial government of Ilocos Norte to proceed in front. Ilocos Norte mayors, please stand by and prepare.
Thank you. Please exit to your right. Next, mayors from the 23 towns of Ilocos Norte. Thank you. Please exit to your right. Thank you. Please exit to your right.